we're going to talk about sprayer calibration for the home lawn this morning. And so the first thing that we're going to talk about is the equipment that you're going to need. Uh, if you notice here, we're actually going to need a tape measure. We're going to need some markers. And so I'm going to use these flags and we're going to use a cup that actually is measured off in ounces. And so this particular one is. So we're going to need those things to actually calibrate our sprayer correctly so that we can do a good job on spraying our lawn. Before we get into the math on that, um, a couple publications that I want to want to refer you to. One is this publication in regards to calibrating boom sprayers for the home lawn. This is one that you can actually go to the University of Kentucky's uh, website and you can get that publication there. The other publication is the sprayer nozzle selection and calibration publication. You can also get that one from our website. Um, this particular publication uh, is a really good publication on selecting nozzles, but more so it uses a very simple method called the ounce method. And that's what we're going to be using today to calibrate this lawn sprayer. So the first step in calibrating our boom sprayer is to determine the distance of our nozzle spacing. So the distance between the nozzle on this spray rig is 20 inches. So we'll want to make note of that uh, because that's going to help determine how far we're going to drive. So we're going to use this little cheat sheet here on the sprayer uh, nozzle calibration publication. And if you see the nozzle spacing was 20 inches. And so if you just follow down a 20 inch spacing means that we're going to drive 204 feet. So we'll want to make sure that we measure off that distance and drive that. We've measured our distance and now we're going to do a couple more things to get everything ready to go for our sprayer. Uh, one of the things that we want to make note of is that we want to be sure that when we calibrate our boom sprayer, we're going to be in the same conditions that we're actually going to be spraying. And so in this instance, we're spraying on a home lawn. And so that's how we're going to, um, that's the uh, uh, site that we're going to uh, calibrate our sprayer on. So again, I've already measured my distance here um, based on the publication. Um, I had a 20 inch boom spacing. I had to drive 204 feet. So I've got my distance measured off. Um, so I'm going to be driving in the lawn. And the other thing is I'm going to fill my tank half full of water only. I want to make sure that I just have water in this because I'm actually going to do another step here in a bit to show you something that we need for the ounce method. So we've driven our distance of 204 foot and we timed that. It took us 38 seconds to drive that 204 feet. So what we're going to do is use our calibration cup and actually collect from this nozzle for 38 seconds. That'll tell us how many ounces that we've collected and that essentially will be uh, the amount of solution we would be applying on a per acre basis. And so you'll notice that I'm wearing a nitrile glove. Um, even though I just have water in this tank, I still wanna make sure because this tank has been used before, I wanna be sure that, that I'm um, using all the safety precautions necessary. And so I'm gonna go ahead and collect again for 38 seconds. And um, once we're done with that, then we'll, we'll get an idea as to how much we've collected. And we'll talk from there. So we've collected 15 ounces of water and it took us 38 seconds to collect that. So by using the ounce method, we now know that we're going to use 15 gallons of water per acre. And again, I, I want to um, say that we are putting this on a per acre basis. If your lawn is smaller than that, you will have to do some math. An acre is 43,560 square feet. And so you will need to measure your lawn and do some simple division there to find out how much of an acre you have on that. And then from there, you can do some more math. You can use the previous publication that I mentioned, uh, calibrating a boom sprayer for, lawn, uh, for lawns. You can use that. Um, to, to help you figure the math on that.